What is going on guys, DBG here and today we are going to be talking about how you guys can get the two free cards, well technically free cards in NBA 2K21 my team. So yeah, basically the cards are, you guys can see them right here on 2KDB, the cards are Yusuf Nurkic and John Collins. So. These guys right here, they're both um, pink diamond cards. So John Collins, we all kind of expected John Collins to maybe be like a locker code or something because surely 2K couldn't be so tone deaf as to put out more RNG based cards, especially RNG based cards that aren't that good. Only 40 total badges, although he does have most of the key hot badges. But like he's missing so many badges, 89 speed, although he can curry slide on next gen. When the Shifty Dribble Style and Kobe release him very quick, he's not a bad card by any means. 95 three ball is pretty good. Like 97 driving dunk is good. 87 lateral quickness is okay. Goal clamps, you know what? You can get away with it. Half interceptor, half hard crusher, half quick first step, half downhill, half unpluckable. So he's got a lot of good things going for him anyway. But as a card, I mean, I, I mean, he's flawed. He's good, don't get me wrong. He's a very, very solid card. But if you're asking me whether or not I think he's a very flawed card, I'm gonna have to say, yeah, I think, I think he is extremely, extremely flawed. But um, anyway, so now we are going to go on, or now we're gonna tell you guys how we can get this card right here. Again, if you get the card, he's a good card. How you get him? Glitch market. As uh, luck. It's pure luck. There's no skill involved in getting John Collins. You just gotta play the game and get lucky. I, it doesn't even matter with this trans. It honestly, it doesn't even matter with the rune text even translates to at this stage. We don't care. Like we don't even care about Ty Lue. Like. Again, I've played the best part of 500 games I've not seen in the glitch market. Albeit, I think he is, him or OG Ananobi, he is either the best or second best glitch market card to get outside of Tyloo. So he is one of the better glitch market players you can get in my team, which is very, very interesting, but, or which is very good if you get there, but at the end of the day, he's a pure luck based card. Like there is no skill involved in getting this card, it is completely luck. And you could play one, you could get him in your next game, you could play 500 games. Is he worth grinding for? A resounding no. First of all, I reckon there's probably a 0.5% chance of getting into the glitch market. You see, some people are getting it multiple times and other times it's taking people 500 or 800, 900 games. I reckon, just based on like the averages, I reckon a 0.5% chance of getting into the glitch market in any given game. And there are now six different cards you can get in the glitch market. So 0.5% by six, like a 0.5% chance of getting in. So it'll take you about 200 games to get in. It'll probably take you on average 1,200 games to get this card. You might get lucky and get someone else, but to get this specific card, it's probably gonna take an average of 1,200 games. And that's if you're getting, that's if you've gotten slightly lucky. So would I advise you guys to go for John Collins? Nah, I wouldn't. But use of Nurkic. Nurkic, 34, thankfully he's not a luck based card. 34 half badges, 18 golds. So again, he's got more half badges and 70 more gold badges. 85, 3, 85 acceleration, half showtime, goal range, decent but not great lateral, 88, 3 ball, 85 driving dunk, only a 70 ball handle, half interceptor, half intimidator, half moving truck, half post move locked in, half rebound chaser, half rim protector, worm clamps. He's got shifty dribble style with 70 ball handle that doesn't, on basic series, that doesn't matter. Set shot eight. Uh, it's it's okay. Like I don't mind it. It's it's a bonus. It's Yao. It's boogie. Not a bad release, but not one of the better ones. Not one of the better ones. But he does have hop deep hooks, which is useless now because two K nerfed it. He's got two cold zones or two non hot zones outside of three. Decent height, decent wingspan. So I mean, if he's easy to get, let's see what he let's see what he takes to get. So to get use of Nurkic, you need to play, where is it, week five, or week five clue, is it? 
Week 5 clue. So, New Year's win, 8 points, 10 points, 10 assists with a power forward in a single game. Tyler's rebound at 18 boards and centers. So, this is probably going to take you about 20 minutes-ish. 70 rebounds and centers, 7 blocks, power forwards. It's going to take you about 30-ish minutes. So it's about an hour, I reckon, for these two. And then, to get Nurkic. I mean, 23 rebounds, trailblazer centers are multiple games. Probably not going to get that in one game, but it's doable. Unless you can find a way to get your centers and power forwards as trailblazer centers. But you can probably do it all in rookie down, to be honest. Yeah, you can you can do this all in one rookie down game. So that's about half an hour. So it's about like an hour, like 80 minutes, 90 minutes there or thereabouts to get the card. So it's not like it's too long, but... Like when you're comparing it to, let's just say, is he is he better than Maxi Kleber? I'm not sure. Does Maxi Kleber? Maxi Kleber is 6k MT. I don't know. He's 5k. I don't know if he's better than Maxi Kleber. I think that, that might be his best comparison. Let's actually just compare these guys. But 34 hops actually on a pink diamond is huge. Yeah, that is actually huge. And he's going to half quick for a step. So I will say that 34 halves on a pink diamond is monstrous. Like he does have 19 extra halves. And he's got better. Like passing vision is a lot. Of, is 46 out of 87. In terms of stats, they are very similar. You obviously, you got half range on Kleba. Kleba's going to dribble the ball better, but... I'll give a slight edge to Nurkic. But Nurkic is worth about 15k. And if you think... It's worth your time instead of grinding, say, one of the other modes. Like, I'm pro I'm going to get him anyway because, again, I like the card collecting, but he's probably the worst of these cards. Like, I think Andre Miller is one of the best pink diamond point guards in the game. I think this is one of the better pink diamond centers. Don't get me wrong, it is. I'm like, yeah, he's he's worth getting. He's worth going again. It is worth going and picking up use of Nurkic. It is definitely, definitely worth picking up Nurkic. And the big thing about Nurkic... It is all based on what you perform in game. There is no luck based sections to it. It is not play a game and hope you get Nurkic. There is an actual thing you have to do to get Nurkic, which is the biggest thing. So I would advise most people to get Nurkic. If you have like a God squad and your only goal in my team is to run the best team possible to play in unlimited and in tournaments, and you don't care about the card collecting aspect of the game, then there's no point because he's not as good as Jaron Jackson Jr. And he's not as good as Eddie Curry. So Eddie Curry is like 10k MT. Jared Jackson Jr. and Eddie Curry are free in 10k MT. So if you really want them to like start in your team. No, it's high, just get Jackson Jr. And just pay for Eddie Curry. But if you are looking for like an all-time trailblazers team. If you're a Blazers fan. If you're Bosnian. If you like Nurkic. Or you like collecting cards. This is actually not a bad player at all. So anyway, yeah. That is pretty much it, lads. That is the video. Thank you guys for watching. I believe that Nurkic is probably worth getting and it's definitely not worth trying to get John Collins. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.